Hi guys, Rafflemay here again. Um, yeah, today I'm going to show you quickly how to set up N64 dual analog controls so that it feels like you're playing a modern FPS and you don't have those backwards weird controls that will make your thumbs hurt. So, real quick, let's just jump in the game and uh, yeah, I think I've already done my remap and um, and it's all working for me, but for the sake of this video, I'll just show you how, how to do it again. So we need to start the new mission. Maybe I'll go for an easy difficulty. So yeah, I'm using my um, Xbox 360. Slightly customized, I swapped the buttons and uh, made a working D-pad, so it's much, much better to use for, for retro gaming than the standard Xbox 360 control with a, with a shocking D-pad. Okay, so first thing you want to do, go to a start menu, and then you need to, I think, keep going left until you come to controller settings, and you see at the top where it says 1.2 solitaire, you need to make sure you have that one because by default you'll be probably on a in fact I'm not sure which one's default 1.1 I guess so as long as you have 1.2 solitaire set up that's the step one so make sure you have that in place and after that you don't have to be in sub menu anymore then you open your retro arch quick menu which is hotkey and the triangle, hotkey, Y, I don't know, what whatever controllers you use. On this one, it'd be hotkey and triangle, yeah? So, you open up the quick menu settings. You go to controls, you go to port one. You can do it for all different ports as well, but I've only done the first one, I think. So, this, oops, this one is the, the correct way of having it set up. So, what I had to do, you see those bottom four, in fact, bottom eight, I had to swap them around. So it's those ones which were set to C buttons, and it's these ones which were set to control stick. So I had to literally swap them around. So I think if we check port two controls, which I've not changed yet, you can see this is the default. This is probably how you would have your setup if you haven't been trying to amend anything in there. So, this is the original default setup, yeah, which doesn't work very well. And you just need to make sure that you set your the bottom eight, you swap them around. So, this is a left joystick and the right joystick. And currently, they, they're swapped, so you want to make sure they are placed correctly. And then, it's, oh, I can't remember which one is it, but left and right trigger ultimately does the same thing. So, as long as you have either one of those as your left trigger button and then you have the Z trigger as your right trigger button then it should all work. Now I'm not sure what these C buttons mode is I haven't mapped that one but I don't know I've never played GoldenEye before so I don't know if there's an additional button that should be doing it but here you are this is the, the final product so 6 and 7 on my controller I have as left trigger and right trigger so for left trigger, it'll be L, LT to aim, or L2. And for the right trigger, it'll be the the NES, NES sorry, N64Z trigger, which is the shoot button. And therefore, if we just go back in the game, after all that is now set up, I don't know if you can see, so I can use this left joystick to move left, right, up and down. I can use the right joystick to look around the map. I can use the left trigger to start aiming and the right joystick will then try to find, just navigate the aim. And I could use right, right trigger. Where's my gun? Okay, there you go. Now I can use right trigger and he will shoot. Left trigger aim. Walk around. So yeah, this, this honestly feels like a modern day, mo modern day FPS shooter, yeah. I'm, I'm not very good at GoldenEye, so excuse me for my dodgy skills. But 
Yeah. This is way better. This is way better. So everyone should do it. Okay, so hopefully that was useful and see you later.